We puny humans are never content to accept things the way they are. And when it comes to our bodies, that counts double. For some, simply having a working body isn't enough. Instead, these folks go for big muscles at all costs, health to be damned. So to help you avoid the same fate, here are a few bodybuilders who took things a little too far. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Trevor Smith. He may have never competed in any professional competitions, but despite this, Trevor Smith was well-liked in the bodybuilding community. Rather than flex in front of judges, Smith instead chose to write articles, run his own bodybuilding and supplement business called Nuclear Nutrition, and coach mercilessly. Push, harder, go past the max, reach over the top, master your ass. The thing he's most famous for is simply being huge. Smith stood 6'1", and at his peak weighed over 400 pounds. <laughs> Unfortunately, to get that big, he not only had to train excessively, but he also reportedly used steroids. All that extra weight and the damage done to his internal organs meant he was putting an excessive strain on his heart. And he died in 2004 at the age of 33 after suffering a heart attack. Greg Kovacs Hailing from Niagara Falls, Canada, Greg Kovacs was a professional bodybuilder of remarkable proportions. He measured well over 6 feet tall and weighed anywhere from 330 pounds for competitions to over 400 pounds in the off-season. You may not be surprised to hear that he was a heavy user of steroids, hormones, and probably a few other things that contributed to a super heroic weight gain. Also, he could more or less look like a real-life version of this guy. Win. Needless to say, he was huge, physically dominating his competitors and making them look like children in comparison. But like Trevor Smith, all that extra weight and his almost certainly high intake of drugs did his health no good at all, leaving him dead from a heart attack in 2013 at the age of 44. Andreas Munzer In order to achieve increased muscle definition without steroids, it's fairly common for bodybuilders to take diuretics which dehydrate the body. This has the effect of shrinking the skin and tissues on the surface of the body, which pull tight around the muscles and transform giant man into giant anatomy displays. I'm not satisfied until every vein is forced up against my skin. Look how vascular I am, Brian. If there's one thing women love, it's a vascular man. Andreas Munzer used this technique, but also managed to reduce his body fat to almost non-existence, resulting in a ridiculous amount of muscle visibility comparable only maybe to this guy. In March 1996, Munzer was admitted to the hospital with severe stomach pains related to organ failure. Doctors tried to stop his internal bleeding, but couldn't save him due to the extensive damage he'd done to himself. An autopsy revealed numerous physical abnormalities, including a swollen heart and a tumor-covered liver which was described as being a crumbly, styrofoam-like mass, not to mention the hazelnut-sized testicles. We'll never look at Nutella the same way again. Breakfast never tasted this good. Greg Valentino. According to Elite Fitness, Greg Valentino is notable for two things, holding the record for the biggest arms and being possibly the most hated man in the bodybuilding community. Unlike most professional bulgers, Valentino focused on his arms exclusively, making him look like the Marvel Comics character Strong Guy. While he managed to get pretty big training naturally, it wasn't until he started using testosterone, steroids, and synthol that his arms grew to an unbelievable 27 inches. All that flexing in front of a mirror distracted him from observing the basic rules of hygiene. He began to reuse unsterilized needles. I was an, an idiot. I dropped the needle on the floor, blow it off, stick it in, and you wind up getting yourself infections. This, along with getting hit in the arm by a baseball bat, resulted in a very disgusting abscess in one of his arms. What happened next is the apex of internet gore. He filmed himself trying to drain the wound, making his bathroom look like a scene out of Saw. Finally, he gave in and went to the hospital, where the doctor had to slice open his arm, leaving him with a large scar across his bicep and a distinctly lopsided appearance. I'm short, I'm ugly, I, I get it. I look like Uncle Fester on steroids. That too. Mustafa Ismail. My name is Mustafa, and I got the biggest arms in the world. 
a bodybuilder who walks in the questionable footsteps of Valentino by focusing almost entirely on his arms, Mustafa Ismail set a new world record with his biceps measuring an almost alien 31 inches. He was later investigated for using less than natural means to achieve it. Among bodybuilders, it's widely believed that he's a serious user of synthetic oils that artificially bulk his biceps, a claim that he denies. Either way, there's enough meat in those arms to feed a starving family for several days. Though, if the rumors are true, the FDA probably wouldn't approve it. All mentions of his record were quietly removed from the Guinness World Records official website. Fortunately, he's still a contender for world's coolest t-shirt. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to let us know which bodybuilders you think take it too far.